Hey everyone, I'm Jamin with Kingdom Camping. Today I'm going to go over the Red Arc Manager 30 kit that we've been installing in our units for quite a while now. And what I'm going to do is just explain what the system does and the reason why we've been using Red Arc. Before I go any further, it's important to know this isn't a paid promotion or anything. We actually installed these units in our camper trailer for several years now and we're really impressed with the quality and we think Red Arc is one of the top innovators in 12 volt off grid power and that's why we use it. We do however have the majority of these products available on our website um, where you guys can purchase it and we'll have it shipped straight to your house. This exact system here will be installed in our Adventure Pro Mini 2.0s. We have several orders this month and I will be coming out with some new videos uh, on walkthroughs where I'll show this system installed as well. Before we go any further, if you would be as kind to like and subscribe to the channel, that really does help us. Um, and I'm going to be pushing to make more of these content videos where I walk through into detail some of our components in our camper trailers. Um, instead of just the walkthrough videos of the trailer themselves. I want to explain the components we're using and why we're using these components. All right, so the first box I'm going to open here is actually Red Vision's um, LCD display. So this is what you're going to find mounted inside of the unit. Um, and this is going to have all your switches programmed right into here. You'll be able to see your temperatures. You'll be able to see your water levels. Um, and this has a Bluetooth system that integrates with your phone app so that you can turn on and off your lights um, right on your phone, which is really neat when you're driving down the road and you decide to turn on your off-road light. Um, so basically, this is the hub that has all the information of the system and has your controls on this screen and also on your phone app. One of the important features that we love about this is that it shows you your battery level um, and it shows you your state of charge. So it shows you um, how fast your battery is charging, how much load you're using, um, what your current state of charge is, how many days you got left at your current usage. Um, so it really is a center of being able to control your battery uh, level and know where you're at with your off-grid system. All right, with that being said, that leads us into our next thing, which I'll put this way here. The next thing is called the Manager 30. And this is the charging hub of the unit. So the Manager 30 um, allows the, our camper trailers to charge in three different ways. Now it can charge via DC to DC charging, which is from your vehicle's alternator where we supply a cord up to the hitch um, and you can charge while you're driving. Now this is one of the best ways to actually charge the onboard battery um, is through DC to DC charging. Um, it charges fast and most of the time people are traveling a lot. So that's one of the best ways to charge your battery. Now the second way is by a solar. So we do have a solar system on the roof. And this does prefer to actually choose the green energy, which is solar, uh, when it is available. Um, just so, just so you're aware, it's going to try to opt to go with solar unless you set it differently. Um, and the third option is via shore charging. So we do supply a shore plug. It's 110 volts, same as your outlet in your garage. So if you know you're uh, going on a trip next weekend and it's parked in your garage, you can plug it in and make sure that battery's at 100%. Now, I do want to mention, although we do put lithium batteries in our campers, it does support any battery type, and you can set that battery type when you set up the system. All right, next we got the center of everything, and this is the distribution box. So, what this box does is it provides five 10 amp loads 
and 530 amp loads and there's an array of fuses here to where we wire everything in the system the lights the inside the outside the water pump um, every 12 volt system item that's under 30 volts we do have our um, AC on the roof that actually runs up to 50 amps per hour so that's hardwired to the battery it's the only thing that's not included for us um, all of our so smaller loads we run into this and these are controllable via Bluetooth on the app and on the display screen. Um, down below, there's multiple outlets um, for a water sensor, um, which is this guy. And so we do have one running to the fresh water tank, and that allows you to monitor the fresh water level at all times in your tank. Um, it's very accurate, and we love using this sensor um, beyond any other sensors we've seen. Now, there's also temperature sensors on this. So these can be run wherever you prefer. We normally have one inside the unit um, and one outside the unit. So that way you can see what's the temperature outside and what's the temperature inside. Um, once again, you can see it on the display and also on your phone. Now the fuse box does have little LED indicator lights up top. So if any of your fuses blow, um, the light does come on so you know which one it is um, and your display screen will also um, start beeping and give an alert that a fuse is blown um, so that's another great feature of that display screen is it does troubleshoot if there's any issues for you so last of all we've got the inverter the 1500 watt is our go-to guy um, it's kind of a medium range inverter it's not the biggest one out there but it is big enough to power um, actually our our electric heat and hot water option um, on our combi and it also is strong enough to power a coffee maker um, you can power a hair dryer uh, some of those normal household items um, you just can't power uh, any extreme loads that are over 1500 watts um, and like I said obviously there's a R bus cable that plugs to this and connects to the distribution box and that allows you to control this from the display screen or from your phone. All right, guys, once again, after using these for multiple years now, I'm just really impressed about the overall quality um, of the units. Um, we've had one item fail once, and we, they automatically send us a new one for free. They've got a great warranty service. Um, the app works great. We haven't had any glitches or anything. Um, and it's just a very nice integrated uh, system and they're really advanced in um, off-grid 12 volt technology so this is made in Australia where they're used in the outback daily and they're really on top of their game um, for off-road 12 volt off-grid power options and they keep stepping up the game adding any new features that come out and so we've just stuck with Red Art for our Venture Pro Mini 2.0 units. Um, we're impressed with the quality, and we just can't find anything better out there. They are quite expensive, um, but we're willing to make that investment uh, for the overall end user experience on our units. Once again, guys, if you enjoy this content and you want to see us bring more of these videos out to you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share this video. Um, I'd like to start breaking down more of our components that we have on the trailers. That way you guys are aware of what the products are and how they operate. We've got several new Adventure Pro Mini 2.0 builds coming out this month with several new changes that I'd be excited to point out to you guys. So make sure to subscribe. Don't miss those videos coming up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you for following along at Kingdom Camping.